on this edition of No Cover, we'll welcome back one of New Jersey's finest award-winning singer-songwriters. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Gail Preslin, and welcome to No Cover, a music program featuring conversation and live performance where there's never a cover and there's always a good time. On today's show, we welcome back one of New Jersey's finest award-winning singer-songwriters, Michaela McLean. Michaela will play a live set of music for us here in the studio, but before that, we'll talk about what she's been up to, most notably her recently re released beautiful EP, Bittersweet Melodies. So Michaela, <laughs> welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. It's really mm -hmm. great to see you again. It's good to be here. So this is a really beautiful CD. Thank you. Um, I've been listening to it and really enjoying it. Thank Tell you. us how this project came together for you. It was a long process. The songs are three to four years old. Uh, I kind of recorded it in pieces, and uh, I was kind of ready to not see it completed. Um, and I got some encouragement from my friends saying, you really should mark this time, this chapter in your life. You should, you should finish it. So I did. It was uh, a labor of love. <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a struggle to finish it. Um, but I'm really grateful that I did. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been writing music for a long time. Mm -hmm. You told us, I think you st started writing music when you were 14. Mm -hmm. or something. So how, is, how have you evolved um, as a songwriter? I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. um, the process is still kind of new for me. Um, when it's happening, I'm not really thinking too much about it, or at least that's the that's when it's happening the best. <laughs> when I'm not thinking too much, it's just kind of flowing naturally. Um, the process can often be um, difficult <laughs> when it doesn't flow. Um, but recently, I've been trying to kind of expand uh, my content of what I'm writing about. Um, and that's really exciting to me. Okay. And what does that mean? Tell us about that. It means that. I'm not just <laughs> writing love songs, okay. <laughs> but I'm writing about other things um, that are important to me, and, and that's been really exciting. That's been a huge kind of leap for me, or growth, I guess, mm -hmm. as a songwriter. Okay. And so given that you play a um, variety of instruments, do you write mm -hmm. the piano and the guitar? Yeah, I, I just um, I write on whatever I pick up. Mm -hmm. um, I play a little ukulele mm -hmm. as well, and. Sometimes, if I'm just hearing a melody um, without an instrument, I'll go to the ukulele because it's very mm -hmm. kind of accessible and simple. Okay. Now, do you have that with you today? I do, yeah. yeah it's the first ukulele on no cover. Oh, so. good. <laughs> That's um, great. Yeah, so it just depends. And then what the song kind of calls for, I'll choose an instrument. But usually I'll sit down on an instrument and, you know, that's the one that will end up being, you know, on that track. But it depends. I don't really have a formula. <laughs> and song, uh, lyrics, music, which, which comes first? Uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. Um, a lot of time the melody comes first. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just hear something in my head. Um, and sometimes uh, it'll come from journaling or a poem that I wrote or, mm -hmm. you know, a line that I hear that I think, oh, that's, that okay. would be, you know, that would be a good line. Okay. So well, it really just it depends. Really came together beautifully for, for this you. CD, for Thank this you. EP. You're welcome. And what else has been going on for you? Some other exciting news you can tell us about? Um, what else? Um, I recently had a song. It's been getting some commercial play, mm -hmm. which is really <laughs> exciting. One of my tunes from uh, the Dallas Sessions, uh, which was one of my first released EPs that I recorded uh, in Texas with my uncle, who's an amazing mm. uh, producer and engineer. Mm -hmm. And we have the same name. <laughs> um, but yeah, the song He Loves Me, uh, has been getting some serious play and some other commercial play, and that's been really exciting because I've been getting some checks in the mail. That's fantastic. <laughs> Which is mind blowing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's mm -hmm. very encouraging. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are you some, writing some songs now? What are you, I what am. Are you up to at this yeah, moment? Yeah, it's been, it's been a quiet year in terms of songwriting. Um, I've written a couple new tunes, and I'm very hopeful for the summer. As you know, I'm a music teacher, mm -hmm. so. During the school year, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty drained. So I'm hoping that the summer will be a very creative time for me, songwriting-wise. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And you 
are still teaching at the same school. I'm still teaching at the right. Montclair Cooperative School right, right here in Montclair. And you, you look so fresh given that you have been teaching all day. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I think I forgot to mention that my daughter had gone to that school Did for, she? for a number of years. Nice. So it's a wonderful place and students are it lucky is. to have you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm lucky okay. to be there. Okay, well that, that's really great. <laughs> so what we're about to do is take a little break okay. and you'll play a set of songs and we'll come back for a little more conversation. Okay. So we have been talking with Michaela McLean, and when we come back, we'll have a set of music, so don't go away, we'll be right back. My biggest concern was my daughter's safety. I wasn't gonna invite people over when I saw what their homes looked like. I didn't know where I was gonna go, what I was gonna do. We're in darkness, but there's always a little bit of light, and if people help, the light becomes greater. Just walking into that house was the beginning of a different life. Because of this house, I'm home. You can change the lives of families in your community and around the world. Join us. Habitat. We build. Separate raw meats from other foods by using different cutting boards. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. This is a happy little ditty. It is called YOLO, which means you only live once. And it was inspired by something very silly. Uh, but at the time, it was a very traumatic choice that I made to get bangs. And I was journaling about the experience and this song just kind of flowed out. So here it is. It's not yet recorded. It will be on a new EP that I release hopefully within the next couple months. Whoa, 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 whoa. Taking a chance, making a change. Life's little choices. I always been scared to try something new, but you only live once. Damn, it's so true. And I'm not saying that I'm scared no more. I'm ready to open every new door. Open the blinds, let the light shine. Living for joy inside my heart. Taking a risk, be
This is a new song called Take a Chance. Standing at the edge of everything I know My defensive walls start to fall I was made a fool playing like a toy Damned if that steals my joy. Risking it all, risking it all for the chance to fall. Risking it all, risking it all for the chance to fall. Standing at the edge of everything I know My defensive walls start to fall I was made a fool, play it like a toy Damned if that steals my joy Risking it all, risking it all For the chance to fall
guys. So, what's up? Oh, we finally bought a place. Holy cow. You seriously have enough save to do that? We've been putting a little aside each month. Mm -hmm. Jeez, at the end of the month, we have nothing left to save. Yeah, I have no idea where it goes. Well, you're mm -hmm. spending a lot on... Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh, God. Oh, how is my account overdrawn? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This next tune is on my newest EP, Bittersweet Melodies. It's the last track entitled Special Kind of Love. Sad of a man who never make me 
special kind of love, the kind I might never let go. from the boil bar. I cannot move, I can't follow a groove. Have fun in the sun, but be sun smart. Anyone can get skin cancer, even young people. One person dies of melanoma every hour in the US. You can save your life by using sunscreen, skipping tanning beds, seeking shade, and getting spots checked. This is a public service message brought to you by Mayo Clinic. Sun, sun, goofing all day. We are back on No Cover. I'm your host, Gail Preslin, and we're here today with our guest, Michaela McLean. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that beautiful set of music. Oh, my pleasure. Really, really wonderful. Thank so great you. to have you here again today. Thank you. So tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the EP, Bittersweet Melodies. There's is there a song or two in particular that you felt was um, approached in a different manner for you or anything of that nature? Yeah, um, well one of the, my favorite track probably on the EP is Bleeding Heart. Um, my drummer Meredith Foreman, who's amazing, one of my dear friends, she actually played horns on it as well. Oh, really? She's very mm -hmm. multi-talented. Mm -hmm. Now, excuse me, was she the, um, with you at, when you played the Outpost? She yes. She accompanied you? Yes. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that was really exciting. Mm -hmm. She not only played, but she wrote and arranged mm -hmm. the parts. And um, I've never had horns on a song before, so in terms of arrangement, that mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. that was new and um, really exciting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, bleeding heart. Okay. And what other projects are you currently working on now, or looking forward to in the near future? I've got um, a couple of, of recording projects on the horizon for the summer. Uh, two in particular that I'm really excited about. One that I'm working with with my uncle, the mm -hmm. uncle I mentioned earlier in Texas. Um, he's actually the, the guy who produced and engineered the song that I mentioned earlier that's been getting radio play. Mm -hmm. so, so we like him a lot. We <laughs> like him a lot, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do, um, I had this idea when I saw him a couple months ago in Austin for my cousin's wedding um, to do a project that's a little bit more commercial. Um, so hopefully some more tunes mm -hmm. will get some airplay. Mm -hmm. So um, we're already working on that. And then I'm working on another project. Uh, with my band, uh, with a producer. So you're so, so busy. It's, it's going to be a good summer of, right. of music. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And uh, you were here uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked a little bit about some of your inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, but just tell us, for those people who may not have seen that mm -hmm. episode, tell us a little bit about, about that, Michaela. Um, well, I love jazz. Uh, I love bossa nova mm -hmm. and R&B and folk. Rock. I mean, I love music, <laughs> so I'm inspired by all good music, mm. pretty much. Um, and yeah. what artist in particular? Artists in particular. Mm. Um, or maybe there are some new artists. That yeah. Are. You know, I really love Esperanza Spalding. Mm -hmm. She's a jazz artist. I just saw her last week for the second time, actually. That was really neat. Her. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. She is. Uh -huh. She is. Um, I love uh, Lettucey, India Ari. Um, Amy Grant, uh, James Taylor, okay. Sting, All right. Ella Fitzgerald. I mean. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when you listen to your music, you really do hear um, all of those influences mm. and a variety of genres, and it really comes together. Neat. Yeah, it, re it really does. <laughs> so, you. the cover question mm -hmm. here, or again, um, our signature question here on No Cover. Mm -hmm. Be the same people, maybe somebody different this time. Yeah. If you could choose somebody to cover one of your songs, mm -hmm. Michaela, who might that be? 
Um, I'll, I'll choose a different answer okay. this time. I would maybe choose Lauren Hill because mm -hmm. I think she would do something really neat. Mm -hmm. Or Esperanza Spalding would be awesome as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, before we forget, let's make sure we tell people how they can find out about what you're up to, website and all that. Yes. So go ahead and do that. I have that. a beautiful new website, mm -hmm. um, com. It is beautiful. Thank it you. I like, wow, wait, when did she change that? Thank it's you. It's really beautiful. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a contact page there, my email and social media, which is amazing, mm -hmm. Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram and Twitter and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm very accessible online. Mm -hmm. Do you find that the social media um, is somebody who's really trying to get your word out there? Mm -hmm. How much time and how important do you feel that is for emerging artists and, and people trying to really get their name out there? Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think it's really important and I think it's an amazing tool. Um, I've personally connected with people all over the world. I have mm -hmm. a, a fan in Germany who mm -hmm. buys EPs all the time who sent me flowers to my no. birthday show in October. <laughs> Amazing. So humbling. Mm -hmm. I just found a, a woman in Portland who discovered me on Facebook and or on Amazon rather but gave me a shout out on Facebook. Um, so it's an amazing tool to mm -hmm. connect with people that you wouldn't otherwise meet. So it's, it is. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's like another job to right. kind of right you know, think of things that you want to share, mm -hmm. but um, it's awesome. Until you can get somebody else to kind of yeah, do that for you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, no, you do really do a great job with Thank it. Thank you. You do. Thank now, you. I know that you're one of um, six sisters, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. And the youngest. How, you're the youngest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and so goes. growing up, there was a lot of music in your house. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk about that yeah. a little bit for us? All my sisters mm -hmm. sing. My, my parents sing and very musical. It was always something that they nurtured in us, and you know, it was it was beautiful. We'd we'd sing around the piano in harmony. It was very, very special, um, and that you know made all the difference in terms of of my love for music now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just having a natural, you know. And did you study music in school? Where, how in grade about? school, or in and you know, as I never older actually or? took formal mm -hmm. lessons. Okay, which is funny now that mm -hmm. I'm a private music teacher. Okay. Um, I'm, but I'm self-taught, and um, yeah, I did study in college. I studied mm -hmm. music. That was really the first, um, you know, education that I had in that mm -hmm. regard. But I grew mm -hmm. up singing in choirs and got an amazing education in terms of singing and using my voice. And okay. well, I kind of learned instruments mm -hmm. from watching my sisters. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad that you're using your voice in such Thank a you. fabulous way Thank and really you. wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Continue success. So thanks again, Thank Michaela you. McLean, Thanks. for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. And you're so welcome. <laughs> you're so welcome. You have been watching another edition of No Cover. I'm your host, Gail Preslin. Again, our guest today has been Michaela McLean. We hope you've enjoyed the show and we'll see you next time.